One of the first sit-ins during the Civil Rights Movement was in Oklahoma City. And today, people march to celebrate the 60th anniversary of one that took place downtown. News 9's Allie Brooks attended the event and spoke with participants of the 1958 sit-in. The Oklahoma City sit-in movement started when 13 kids protested segregation at Katz Drug Store in downtown OKC. August 19th, 1958, the day a peaceful protest would spark a movement in our state. -E -E. -E -E. Today, hundreds gathered to honor the people who participated in the sit-in with a reenactment of their own. They gathered at Frontline Church and marched their way to Kaiser's Diner, where 13 children, the same ages as the ones 60 years ago, took a seat at the counter. I looked at these kids this morning and I said, thank God they don't have to face the fears that we did. The children in 1958 were led by Clara Looper, a teacher turned activist who wanted to see equality for all. Her daughter Marilyn was only nine at the time as she sat at Kat's drugstore and waited to be served. People didn't know us and it was spit on us, thump coffee on us, pour water on us, curse us out, do things that you could never think that adults would do. They sat until they saw change and two days later Katz ended their segregation policy. The group went to other stores demanding change, no matter the consequences. A few years later, the 1964 Civil Rights Act ended segregation in public places. Looper passed away in 2011, but events like this help her legacy continue. I feel like my mom is looking down on Oklahoma City because she gave her life, her energy to making a change in the city, state, and nation. I feel good. Four women, including Marilyn, who were a part of the original sit-in, attended today's reenactment. They were surrounded by support, support they didn't have 60 years ago. Because we can make a difference, but it takes each one of us. We can either work together as brothers and sisters or sit together. We have a list of events happening tonight and tomorrow on our website, news9.com. On the scene, on the story in downtown Oklahoma City, Allie Brooks, News 9.